Early ideas. Early ideas trace back to ancient civilizations, where myths and philosophy first tackled the profound questions of conscious existence. Myths. Long before science, ancient myths worldwide tried to explain consciousness. From Greek gods to spirit tales, early humans were fascinated by the mind's power and mystery, crafting stories to make sense of it all. Greek roots. Philosophers like Aristotle and Plato were pioneers, questioning what consciousness truly is. They set the stage for millennia of thought, debating whether our soul or logic defines us. Medieval insights. Medieval insights merge religious belief and philosophical thought, marking a significant era in the evolution of consciousness studies. Religious views. In medieval times, consciousness was often seen through a spiritual lens. The soul's journey and divine connection dominated discussions, with thinkers like Augustine shaping a deeply religious understanding of the mind. Scholasticism. This era also saw scholars like Thomas Aquinas use reason to explore consciousness, blending theology with philosophy, striving to understand the human mind's divine nature. Renaissance Rebirth. Renaissance. Rebirth witnesses a surge in human-centric thinking, revolutionizing our approach to understanding consciousness. Humanism. The Renaissance reawakened interest in human potential and intellect. Thinkers began focusing on individual experience and the power of human consciousness, moving away from strictly religious interpretations. Cartesian duel, Entre Descartes, who famously declared, I think, therefore I am. His ideas on mind-body dualism questioned the very nature of existence and consciousness, sparking debates that continue today. Age of Reason. Age of Reason brings brings an enlightened approach to consciousness, emphasizing empirical observation and rational analysis. Empirical minds. The Enlightenment brought a new focus on experience and observation. Thinkers like John Locke suggested our consciousness is a blank slate filled through sensory experiences, shaping our thoughts and identity. Rational thought. Meanwhile, rationalists like Leibniz argued that certain ideas are innate, a part of our rational mind. They believed consciousness is more than just what we observe. It's also how we think and reason. Critical idealism. Kant revolutionized thinking by suggesting suggesting our understanding shapes our experiences. He argued that the mind actively organizes and interprets the world, influencing every aspect of our conscious life. Modern philosophy. Modern philosophy reflects on existential and phenomenological aspects of consciousness, deepening our introspective understanding. Existential questions. As philosophy progressed, figures like Sartre began exploring existence itself. They pondered over human freedom, our essence, and how consciousness defines our reality and personal identity. Phenomenological turn. Husserl and others shifted focus to our direct experience, advocating phenomenology. They urged us to study consciousness as it is experienced, delving into the structures of our thoughts and perceptions. Psychological pioneers. Psychological pioneers lay the groundwork for modern psychology, shifting the focus towards empirical study and behavioral analysis of the mind. Inception. The birth of psychology as a science brought figures like Wilhelm Wundt, who opened the first lab dedicated to psychological research, aiming to quantify and understand the workings of the mind. Behavioral shift. As the field evolved, behaviorism took center stage with John B. Watson and B. F. Skinner, emphasizing observable behavior over introspection, arguing that true understanding of the mind comes from studying actions and reactions. Cognitive turn. Cognitive turn marks a revolution in understanding the mind's functioning, likening it to complex information processing systems. Mind as computer. The cognitive revolution likened the mind to a computer, focusing on how we process information. This shift brought a new understanding of mental functions as intricate, systematic, and akin to hardware and software interactions. Neuroscientific breakthroughs. Advancements in brain science have illuminated how our biology creates consciousness. Researchers now study the brain's structures and functions striving to link them directly to the phenomena of thoughts, feelings, and self-awareness. Contemporary theories. Contemporary theories encapsulate the diverse and complex views of consciousness, from mind-body debates to the nature of subjective experience. Mind-body debate. Modern scholars continue wrestling with how the mind interacts with the body. Is consciousness just brain activity or something more? This debate pits physical reality against the realm of thoughts and emotions. Functionalism. This view sees mental states as defined by their function rather than their makeup. Like a computer's software, it's not the material, but what it does that makes thoughts and feelings real to us. Qualia and Phenomenalism Some argue for the undeniable reality of qualia, the personal, subjective quality of experience. How do we explain the redness of red or the pain of a headache? These experiences define our consciousness. Quantum Consciousness Quantum consciousness explores the intriguing possibility that quantum mechanics might be at the heart of understanding consciousness. The Quantum Mind A bold frontier Quantum consciousness suggests our understanding of consciousness might lie in quantum mechanics, 
It's a mind-bending concept hinting at a deep connection between the mind and the fundamental workings of the universe. Orchestrated Objective Reduction Delving deeper, this theory proposes that consciousness arises from quantum processes within the brain's neurons. It's a controversial but fascinating idea, suggesting a bridge between the physical brain and the subjective mind. Information Theory Information Theory suggests consciousness can be understood as a form of intricate, integrated information processing. Integrated Information Imagine consciousness as a network Work of information. The more integrated and complex this network, the deeper the consciousness. This theory attempts to quantify consciousness, making it a measurable phenomenon. Applications and Implications Understanding consciousness as information not only enlightens us about the human mind, but also propels advancements in artificial intelligence, offering a new way to think about what machines might become capable of feeling and understanding. Global Access Global Access Theory posits that consciousness arises from the widespread availability of information across various cognitive processes. Workspace theory. Think of the brain as a bustling workspace where information is broadcasted for various cognitive agents to use. This theory suggests consciousness is like the spotlight in a theater, illuminating where our attention goes. Neural correlates. Scientists are hunting for the exact neural mechanisms that correlate with consciousness. By identifying these, we get closer to understanding how physical processes in the brain give rise to our vivid inner lives. Self-reflective thought. Self-reflective thought dives into theories suggesting that consciousness arises from thoughts about our own thoughts adding depth to self-awareness. Higher order theories. These theories suggest that consciousness arises when we think about our thoughts. It's like a mirror reflecting itself, a mental state about another mental state, adding layers to our understanding of self-awareness. Subjective complexity. This idea delves into the layers of thought and feeling that make up our inner world. It's not just about being aware, but being aware of being aware, a spiraling staircase of introspection and identity. Biological basis biological basis. Examine is the idea that consciousness is rooted in the physical and evolutionary processes of the brain. Neurobiological theories. Recent advances link consciousness directly to the brain's wiring and chemistry. It's an ongoing exploration into which parts light up our awareness and how the brain's physical structure creates our subjective experiences. Evolutionary views. How did consciousness arise in the living world? This perspective looks back through time, suggesting that consciousness offers evolutionary advantages, emerging gradually as a complex response to the challenges of survival and reproduction. Panpsychism. Panpsychism challenges conventional views by suggesting that consciousness might be a fundamental universal feature of all things. Universal mind. Panpsychism proposes a startling idea. Consciousness is not just in us, it's a fundamental aspect of the universe, like space or time. It suggests everything has a form of consciousness, from rocks to radishes. Philosophical implications. This ancient idea, now revisited, forces us to reconsider our place in the universe. If consciousness is everywhere, what does that mean for our understanding of existence, ethics, and spirituality? Future and technology. Future and technology envisions the implications of artificial intelligence and technological enhancements on the nature of consciousness. Artificial minds. As technology advances, the prospect of machines with consciousness becomes more plausible. This raises questions about what consciousness in machines would look like and the ethical implications of creating sentient beings. Transhumanism. This movement looks forward to a future where we enhance and extend our consciousness through technology. It's a vision of a new kind of human experience, expanded and augmented by our creations. Societal Reflections Societal reflections consider how cultural and ethical perspectives shape and are shaped by our understanding of consciousness. Cultural Consciousness Our understanding of consciousness is deeply influenced by culture. Different societies have unique perspectives, shaping how individuals perceive their own minds and the minds of others. Ethical Considerations As we delve deeper into the nature of consciousness, we face new ethical dilemmas, from rights for non-human entities to the implications of altering our own consciousness. These questions demand thoughtful consideration. Mystical and Alternative Mystical and Alternative approaches explore consciousness through spiritual, transcendental, and non-ordinary states of awareness. Transpersonal Psychology This field integrates spiritual experiences with psychological understanding, exploring states of consciousness that go beyond the individual self, like deep meditation or psychedelic experiences. Meditative States Meditation offers a window into altered states of consciousness, providing both ancient wisdom and modern research insights into the depths and heights of human awareness. Persistent Questions Persistent questions highlight the enduring mysteries and philosophical dilemmas that continue to intrigue those studying consciousness. The Hard Problem Despite advances, the hard problem remains. How do physical processes in the brain give rise to subjective experience? It's the enduring mystery of how matter makes mind, captivating scientists and philosophers alike. 
the binding problem. Our senses provide disparate information, yet we experience a unified reality. How does our brain combine these into a single conscious experience? This problem delves into the cohesion of perception and awareness. Thanks for exploring consciousness theories with me. Stay curious and tuned for more insights.